In September of 2015, I decided to go out with some girlfriends um, in Steamboat Springs um, to celebrate a little bit, and we made the decision to get in the car with um, my friend who had been drinking with us as well. Um, we, she said that she was okay to drive, and she obviously wasn't okay to drive, um, but we took a back road and went off the road and um, hit, hit a ditch uh, where I sustained some pretty severe injuries as long as another person in the car. Um, I was in the back seat and hit my face on the seat in front of me, which shattered my sinus cavity, um, broke my eye socket and my nose. Um, I obviously had a pretty bad concussion after that as well. But um, I ended up spending a few nights in the hospital after that and um, was told that I had to get surgery to repair obviously the damage in my face. So um, I had the surgery about a week later and had a really long recovery after that. And while I was going through my recovery, I was receiving a ton, a ton of phone calls from insurance companies, um, mainly Kelsey's insurance company, who was the driver. Um, she, or the insurance companies, kept asking me if I was represented and I told them no because I didn't know that this was gonna be a fight at all. Um, I figured that they would just pay my medical bills and we would go on, go on with the recovery and it would be over. Um, after like the 10th time they told me, they asked me if I was represented. I contacted Gary Bell online. Um, I just looked, looked up whatever I could to see if I could get some legal advice and he told me right off the bat that I was definitely going to need legal advice. I contacted Gary Bell two months after my accident. The insurance companies were mostly not telling me anything that they were going to do. Um, they basically were refusing to give me any information on what bills were going to be paid or if they were going to take care of anything at all. That's scary. Yeah, it was very scary. Gary Bell made it a lot easier to deal with insurance companies. He, um, I met with him once in Steamboat Springs and after that I just gave him my story. I gave him my information obviously and he immediately stopped the insurance companies from contacting me, which made of course my whole situation a hundred times easier. Um, he eventually was able to get not only all my medical bills paid, um, but get a settlement from her car insurance company um, and my own car insurance company, who also raised my own, my own insurance payments and fought me on that as well. So I eventually, after my medical bills are paid, I came out with $36,000 in my pocket um, on the first check, and that was from Kelsey's insurance company. He also, um, after the fight with my insurance company, he got me another $20,000. So he helped me out a ton, a ton. My medical bills were about $50,000 after all was said and done, and I will be dealing with medical bills in the future. Um, so a lot of that money is gonna go to my medical bills in the future as well. So he really, he took care of everything that I needed him to do for me. I couldn't recommend Bell and Pollock highly enough.